mind-body connection, cancer, and telomeres. How can they all possibly relate? Well, Canadians did a really interesting research uh, study based upon the mind, the body, and your telomere length. Otherwise, sometimes we call it telomeres, but it should be pronounced telomeres. In a research article entitled, Mindfulness-Based Cancer Recovery and Supportive Expressive Therapy Maintain Telomere Length Relative to Controls and Distress Breast Cancer Survivors, published this November 3rd, 2014. Now you may say, what does telomeres mean to me? Well, if a person has unfortunately been diagnosed with cancer or a cancer survivor, what they associate the length of the telomeres with is cancer prognosis or cancer outcomes. So the longer you can maintain those telomeres, the better things appear to be. Now, this is what they said. For the first time, researchers have shown that practicing mindfulness meditation or being involved in a support group has a positive impact at the cellular level in breast cancer survivors. Now, what they did is they took groups of uh, women who had survived breast cancer and randomized them into three separate groups. Two happy face groups and one sad face group. You'll see what I mean in a second. First happy face group, mindfulness-based cancer recovery, where they practice half the yoga, cultivating non-judgmental awareness, da-da-da, for about 45 minutes a day. Cool. The second happy face group, supportive expressive therapy, where generally they met for about 90 minutes weekly for about 12 weeks, where they tried to detox their negative emotions. You see where I'm going. The sad face group, number three, Participants randomly placed in the control group attend one six-hour stress management seminar. That sounds just dreadful. However, regardless of the three groups, this connection was shown. As participants went in to the studies, they measured their telomere lengths. And so you had a baseline. When the testing was done, they measured their telomere lengths once again. And of course, as you can imagine, and how could you not, that the happy face groups maintained the same telomere length as when they went into the study where the sad face group, the stress management group for one six hour course, lost a significant amount of telomere length, which is bad normally when you correlate. So if you look at it, these support groups, which are more meant, bent towards positive thinking, so to say, one way or the other, are powerful tools in maintaining the telomere length. Henceforth, the mind-body connection and telomeres, what has been established, and according to the Canadian researchers, actually constitutes evidence. Now, there are some study abnormalities that need to be cleared up, and the study does need to be duplicated. But however, at least in their words, they say evidence. Now, what I am going to do too is I'm going to post the phone number to the Calgary or Cancer Patients or the Alberta Health Service Programs, just in case there are any individuals that are seeking help or see exactly how they implemented these programs, or if there are any oncologists out there that say, hey, you know what, let's improve situations for our patients. And it'll be posted at the end of this video. Again, Ralph Turciano signing off. Mind-body connection. At least it was established by the Canadian researchers. Thank you very much once again.